Well, I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Just up here in the winter wonderland, about to fire up sleds for the first time of the year, which uh, is kind of unusual for me, but just haven't gotten around to it. Been uh, pretty busy and not making as many videos as I'd hoped to get out, but oh well. It's the way it goes sometimes. I see the roof decided to slide off too, so that's cool. Oh, that's a little deep. So, I guess we will get the old Tundra out of the way and then fire up these two classics. The tundra is always a hard starting pain in the butt first time of the year, but we will see what happens. Oh, that's not froze for once. That's always good. Primer is doing nothing. If you just give it a lot, sometimes it comes around. Okay, I don't think it's coming around. Undo the hood latch. Hey, I got the snow off too, cool. Um, Let's see, do we need liquid glow plugs for this or should I just send it with some gas down the cylinder? That'll probably work better. At least uh, if the throttle decides to magically stick like this one always does, we got a nice uh, stopping point there. Might tear up some gravel and fling some rocks, but that's all good. So, uh, yeah, I'll get some gas and we will make this piece of junk run. Well, in the shop here, just need to grab the fancy fuel injector. I'm pretty sure there's still ATF in this thing, but that's extra lubricant. You don't have to worry about that. And I got two stroke mixed gas right there. Here's the only bit of shop work I've been doing. Pulled the transmission out of this Ram charger. Oh wait, a Dodge with transmission issues. This is nothing new, we're gonna ignore that. So, uh, probably need both hands for this. Oh, maybe not. That works. There's a little bit in there. We'll, uh, we'll get that switched out and filled with Snow machine gas, and we'll be good. All right, we're back. Looks good enough. Probably way too much, but oh well. And Nothing but the best tool combos here. Put that in there and then that. Avoid exhaust melt. And yeah, it's, uh, here goes nothing. Might help if we uh, put that back on. this process probably about five times until she picks up fuel if it's even got it knowing me I probably siphoned it out and ran it through a truck I mean it's kind of wet must have some Just do this again. All right, take two here. We'll get there eventually. Does the primer work yet? Oh. All right.
just a little bit deep. Well, this one just fouled out and quit. I don't think she likes the uh, the 40 to 1 mix. I deleted the oil injection on it because uh, you can't really trust that on these old sleds. The old Skidoo Olympic likes 40 to 1. So I'm like, oh, I'll just put 40 to 1 in everything else that likes 50 to 1. The Bravo will still send, but you notice it a little bit. This one definitely doesn't like it. We're just going to... You know, ignore all that, put a hotter spark plug in it and probably burn a hole in the piston, but that's the way it goes. Now, let's fire up the one snow machine that always runs, no matter what. Trusty old Yamaha Bravo. All right, cleaned her off. We're not even going to check under the hood. Just give her a few of these. Choke. Two out of three, let's see if we can get the oldest one going here. This one's a 1970 Skidoo Olympic. Originally a 335 electric start. But that motor was pretty well screwed up when I got this thing, so I put a rebuilt 299 in it. All the old Rotax motors in the 70s were pretty much the same. But uh, this one seemed to work out pretty good for me, so I just went with it. Definitely a blast from the past. But it's fun. We'll uh, roll over, over some, free it up. Yeah, she's a little cold. has points ignition so that's always fun to deal with when they corrode but I've fired it up every winter since I got it going so she should be all right we'll just repeat this process a little bit get her uh, you know circulating in there a little bit and then we'll squirt some fuel into the carburetor and see what happens all right let's see what she does the 
recoil just loves to return. Well, looks promising already. Come on. There we go. Give her a little bit more here. She picks up fuel will be fine well just as i had it beginning to pull fuel from the tank i ran out of primer gas and i'm all out of sled gas so that's good guess i'm gonna have to fill up a couple more jugs and mix some up and we'll uh try this one again this one loves to be primed but as soon as you do that she'll usually go so uh we were awful close. At least we got to hear it run. Two out of three ain't bad. Sometimes you win some and sometimes you lose some, but we're still having fun. Got to rip around through the snow and get half stuck a million times. So, uh, you know, that's good exercise. Can't go wrong with that. I guess we'll just navigate our way to the plowed part of the driveway now. Going by the Ford High Boy snow charts, we are gaining quite a bit, so that's always good. Well, short and probably a boring video, but I hope you guys found some in entertainment from it. And uh, I got some stuff planned, just haven't been able to get out and film much, especially when it's been you know, negative 55 out. It's uh, a whole whopping negative eight. So uh, it's like being in Hawaii. We're good now. So hopefully we can uh, get going on videos again and put some more content out for you guys. And uh, But before I go, I guess I will show you guys something that's new. Wouldn't you know, I actually bought a nice truck for a change. This one's a 1994 Ford F-250 with a 7.3 power stroke and a 5-speed manual. 94 and a half, which is what this is, was the first year for the power stroke diesel. Moving on from the 7.3 IDI. This one's a one-owner truck. I bought it from a family friend. It's got 200,000 miles on it, and uh, she's been well kept through the years. Um, it's been uh, definitely worked hard. I've heard some stories, and they're pretty, they're pretty amusing. But uh, considering what this truck's been through, it's still in very good shape, and uh, I'm very happy with it. I'm already putting it to work. It's got. Uh, a nice front grill guard. I ended up putting new headlights and taillights in it. Got rid of the old faded out OBS Ford uh, originals. Put a light bar on it. The previous owner put a, uh, a framework on the front that's welded into the frame with a receiver so he could put a winch on the front. So that's pretty cool. And... Uh, it's uh, original injectors, original clutch, original everything. The only thing he did to it really was put an aftermarket air intake on it. And when I got it, the, uh, the clutch master cylinder and slave cylinder was bad. So I put a new one of those on. I got a pre-bled unit. 
put one of those on, got the clutch working again. It needed a steering column because the original steering column, you could just grab the steering wheel and just wobble the crap out of it. The bearings were completely shot in it. So I pulled the column out of the, uh, the rolled over F-150 out back and put it in this truck and it worked out perfect. And uh, it had a bad fuel leak. It was dripping off the back of the motor pretty bad and it turned out to be the mechanical lift pump in the valley so I put a new one of those replaced all the rubber lines while I was in there and I put a uh, aftermarket fuel pressure spring in while I was doing that so you know that's an improvement already um, but other than that the truck is all original and uh, here in the near future I'm going to do some uh, some mods to it which uh will be revealed in the future but along with the cosmetic improvements that emblem was missing so i put another f-250 emblem on it also came with a slip tank and a fifth wheel hitch and then of course i had to add horsepower to the back window it's got these cool aluminum rims and then inside, overall, it's not too bad. The seat's a little bit worn out, so he uh, he put a cushion in it. It's got Ford floor mat still. And of course, a ZF5, because uh, you gotta have one of those. It's got a nice dash cover. And then back here is pretty nice still. But, uh, yeah, let's climb in, fire it up. Just had it running doing some work so uh yeah aftermarket stereo and it's had speakers done to it so we can blast some tunes in it that's always fun and then she's got that many miles oh and here's the best part The doors shut like it's new. Can't get much better than that. So yeah, well worth what I paid for it. It's uh, definitely going to be a great addition to the fleet. 7.3 is, uh, it's really hard to go wrong with, especially uh, in an OBS Ford. She's, uh, she's going to remain to be well kept, but it's going to be very useful for hauling more junk home. So uh, I'm really glad to have scored this one but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh let me know down in the comments what you think on everything and uh i appreciate you hanging in there while i've been uh completely lacking at making videos but uh i know you guys uh enjoy what i post up so i really appreciate it till the next one i'll see you later mm -hmm.